hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this amazing title reveal animation with the help of plugin saber so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Now simply create a new composition with the name main animation with sorry width I'll choose 1920 height 1080 frame rate is 30 duration 30 seconds and background color is black and hit OK hit OK then choose grid and guide option and hit title selection now press Ctrl Y and create one solid layer and name it as Saber and hit ok now go to the effect and presets panel and apply our saber effect on it i have provided the link in the description so please download and install it it's a free plugin now after that we have these two anchor points of this one but before that we need to adjust some settings of this neon glow so for that what we will do we will decrease some intensity up to 35 core size up to 2 glow bias up to 2.0.3 maybe yeah next looks good for now increase the glow spread something like this or maybe 0 0.05 and 0 0.02 something like this now we have these two anchor points i'll adjust it over here and this one over here now hit ctrl d and press f4 select both of them in blending mode i'll choose screen now select the first one and i'll move this core start up to here and the score egg up to here something like this i'll delete this last one select this one hit ctrl d over here the only thing i move over here is score star and again i'll hit ctrl d and we need to do this several times up to the center yeah this looks good to me now after that select all of them zoom in a little bit up to 10 frames 10 frames alt close bracket now select this one first and this one at the end right click keyframe assistant sequence layers and hit ok and zoom out and i drag this thing over here so if i hit play now as you can see we'll get something like this but hit ctrl z and we need to move it instead of 10 frames i will choose 2 frames select this one first then this one right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok now zoom out if i hit play now we will get this kind of review yeah now after that select all of them press ctrl shift c i will call it as saber collection and hit ok hit ctrl d press s unlink this option and let's make it minus 100 and choose blending mode into screen and this one also into the screen now create one null object over here 
grab it at the top select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null press s and i'll increase the scale a little bit and i'll drag it downwards over here something like this now after that i choose my text i'll call it as welcome i don't want any fill do not stroke so i'll choose fill i'll increase the font size something like this select this text press ctrl alt home and go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and i'll drag it over here press s for scaling options scale it a little bit drag it up to here hit ctrl d select this text go to the correct tab tab delete this field and choose the stroke color stroke width should be one and simply i'll move this over here just like this now after that select both of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as text hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and apply drop shadow effect on it increase the softness increase the distance and increase the opacity something like this so our text will be quite visible so if i hit play we will get this kind of thing over here now after that i'll choose my rectangle tool and i'll create one shape over here now select this text in blending mode i'll choose alpha matte and at this point i want this text should be animated so i'll drag it up to here create one keyframe on the position at two seconds again create one keyframe on the position and initially i'll drag it up to here select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll drag it over here if i hit play we'll get this kind of animation i'll choose quarter resolution so so we can see our animation select this sh uh, shape layer and i'll increase the size of the layer just like that so our main thing is ready now select all of them press ctrl shift c i will call it as main hit ctrl d press s for scaling option i link this option and let's make it minus 100 f4 and i will choose blending mode to screen press p for position and we will drag this thing over here select this rectangle tool thing like this and i'll create one mask up to here go to the mask properties and i'll increase the feathers so up to here if you want then you can select this mask by double clicking on it by holding shift you will drag it up to here if you want then you can increase the feathers again hit you if you see in a full resolution we will get something like this now we will choose create one new fractal layer not layer but composition by hitting ctrl n uh, all the ribbing should be same hit ok press ctrl y to create a solid layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply fractal noise effect on it choose turbulence mode instead of soft i will choose blocks increase the complexity increase the contrast decrease the brightness something like this go to the transform unlink this transform increase the scale to it and scale height up to this go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 drag that fractal into our main comp animation comp after that select this main one and apply compound blur effect on it and i will choose my fractal layer if i hit play now we will get this kind of text review 
choose the quarter resolution now after that right click create one null object over here go to this main com we will choose both of them press ctrl shift c i will call it as text animation now press S for scaling option and scale it over here and I will drag it up to here just like this go to the main animation now at this point I will select all of them and all of them and I will make it parent with this null one select this null one press S for scaling option create one keyframe and at this point I will increase the scale again choose p for position create one keyframe hit u go over here drag it up to here select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select those graph editor and by holding shift i will drag this over here to here if i hit play you will get this kind of animation after that create one another null object Select this null and make it a parent with this null 3. Select this null, press E. I'll click on the stopwatch and apply wiggle expression on it. And we will choose 3, 3. Just like this. So we will get this kind of animation. If you want, then you can animate this fractals also by simply hitting Alt click on this evolution tab and apply time into let's say 50 just like so so if i hit play now we will get this kind of animation over here also so yeah this is our final animation So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch after effect tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.